So today I'm in a shopping centre in Dandenong Road at Mount Omni, a southwestern suburb of Brisbane. And today we're looking at the first Kempower DC rapid charger that I've seen, and I believe one of very few operating in Australia. So it's managed on the Alanga app charging network. It's also on PlugShare as it's only just recently opened. It is at the moment providing free charging via two CCS outlets. So stay with us as we have a look around the charger and put it through its paces charging the mighty MG ZS EV. Hi, my name's Greg and welcome to Electric Car Australia, the Aussie YouTube channel for those wanting to know a little bit more about electric cars and sustainable living technologies. Please hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of our future videos. And remember, if you're about to take the plunge and want some personalised, independent one-on-one -on -one advice, check out the website below and you can book an appointment with us. Well, Happy New Year. It's our first video for 2023. And I'd like to thank all my supporters over the last year. It's been fantastic. We grew the channel by over 1,000 subscribers last year. And subscriber numbers are really important to YouTube channels because it shows the algorithms that you like the content we create. So thanks very much for everyone that did sign up. And a big hats off to my supporters who provided some cold hard cash last year to help keep the channel on the road. It does cost quite a bit to run a YouTube channel and that financial support's really appreciated. So thanks to those who kicked in a couple of dollars. And finally, thanks to everyone who sent messages and well wishes late last year when our house was broken into while we were attending a free community EV event down at Samford. So I uh, really appreciate your messages of support. So let's get into it and have a look at the first chem power charger that I've ever seen in the flesh. Um, it's a nice bright sunny morning so apologies for the light it won't be the best um, but we'll unhook the camera in a minute and we'll go and we'll have a walk around and we'll also get the young guy my little wingman here to plug the MG ZS EV in and we'll have a look at some charging stats. Well as we mentioned this new chem power charger has gone in at the Mount Omni shopping centre in Brisbane really convenient and easy to find it's just off Dandenong Road uh, just above the MG there is the Mount Omni library so for the locals that'll tell you a little bit about where the location is in the car park so nice and easy to find um, there's one 50 kilowatt charger with the two outlets and also over there we've got a type 2 charger so if there's a backlog or the 50 kilowatts out of action um, you'll be able to do that and use it. So for those newbies to EVs, EV charging is really quite simple. Um, finding the charger is um, one thing and then having the charger in use and reliable is another one. And that's where I'm really excited about ChemPower coming to Australia. But what we're gonna do, we're gonna get the little guy to plug it in and we'll show you just how easy it is. So here we go. We're gonna plug the MG ZS EV in, get it on the charge. And as I mentioned, apologies for the light guys, this is going to be a bit hard for you guys to see. So we've got both the covers out so the CCS2 plug can go in. There we go, you push it in until you hear a little click. And we've never used this one before so let's have a look at the instructions. And as I mentioned, this one's free to charge at the moment. So preparing to charge, you probably just heard the little lock so that's the electric lock coming on so you can't remove the um, lead and I think little man oh no it's still there we go preparing to charge there we go charging so I really like the screens on these chem power units so what that's done is it's communicated with the car and it's worked out that we've got a 45% state of charge and I really hope you guys can see that. So there we go, the MG's got 46% now state of charge in the battery. We're charging at 45 kilowatts. And you'll notice that the other port, so port two, this one here, it's available for use. 
So what these chargers do, which is a great idea, and the tritiums also do it now, the later model tritiums is, you can charge two cars at once from the um, one unit, which is great. So obviously the first car in gets the uh, majority of the charge, I guess, or the priority. So we got 45 kilowatts there. Somebody else comes along and plugs in, they're gonna get 18 kilowatts. So it balances the charge um, across the two cards. So yeah, that's called load balancing and that's going to be really important in the future um, because if a second car comes along, it's better that they can get some charge um, than none. And um, with the other units there, generally one car comes, one car plugs in, that's it. You'll also notice that these are both CCS plugs. So, and again, you guys probably struggle to see that. Um, yep, the CCS combined charging system plugs. So no Chatamo plugs. So if you've got a Chatamo vehicle like the Nissan Leafs or the Mitsubishi IMEVs or the Mitsubishi plug-in Outlander, so primarily Japanese cars, unfortunately you're out of luck with, um, with this charger. So a couple of other good features or unique features of the Kempower is we've got these little LED indicators there. So the blue indicator obviously showing that we're plugged in and charging, so it's flashing. We'll come back and have a look at this, but as the battery capacity of the vehicle goes up, that will go right to the top. And I'm assuming it might turn green. We'll wait and see. This one is green, ready to go, because that's port number two which you can see there, and that is available, so it's not in use. Now, another cool thing about these ChemPower chargers, which I believe is quite unique, is the way they manage the leads. Now, if you look at that, that's quite a long lead. So they look like some of the American fuel pumps, and I believe Australia used to have some as well, but there's a lot of fuel pumps in America that have that lead that goes up and over and down. Now that's quite a long lead. And the advantage of this type of stuff, uh, there's a couple of advantages, I guess. So you can, you can pull that and it gives flexibility. Uh, it moves around. But there's a couple of advantages. One for EV drivers, as uh, most people will know, EVs have the charge sockets in multiple areas. So the MG have it at the front. Um, the Teslas have them at the rear tail light. Uh, the BYD at O3 has it at the front guard, so they're pretty much all over the place. So depending on the layout of the car park where these chargers are situated, sometimes it's difficult to get your car in and charge. So the way these leads are set up, um, pretty much for EV drivers provides the maximum flexibility to get that uh, charge lead into your car. And also it protects the lead, so you'll notice there it's actually off the ground, so it's not getting any concrete scuffing or damage. Um, it's touching the ground there, obviously, where we've got it plugged in. So from the owner's perspective for maintenance, it's also a, uh, a great idea. Let's see, let's see, let's see. So coming back to activating it's the probably... charger, as you can see when we done it, this one was just a plug and play because there's uh, no charges to this. But it does have an RF ID card sensor there um, for potentially later use. And that was the Alanga app that I mentioned earlier. So um, this charger is appearing on that app. And wow. I'm not sure whether you guys can see that doing the video early in the morning when there wasn't uh, many people around was a great idea except for lighting. So there we go, there's the Alenga app. So you can download that, jump on there and have a look at that. Um, so again, at some point in the future, I'm assuming there'll be charges for these and you'll activate it through the app at that time. So some other features of the charger, it's a nice compact unit and it's also really easy to see. So the Kempower branding is a bright orange, as you'll see there, which is um, great, makes them a lot easier to see in the car park. And they pretty much are a tall rectangular box. You'll notice the um, mounting or hanging clips, I guess, on the top. So they would just crane that in, they'd be quite heavy. Um, put it down onto a concrete pad and this particular one has a couple of bollards there um, So again, we'll just step back here and you can see because of the 
way that Kempower chargers operate with those leads, there's actually three EV parking spots for this charger. Because the way the leads work, you can put a car in the front and then one at the left and right, which is quite handy if somebody's um, might be finished charging and they're organising some kids or whatever they're doing. Um, a second car can be in the one next door to them and they can unplug and plug in and start charging while you're still fluffing around and getting sorted. So most of the other charge uh, parks only have the two for the 50 kilowatt. So a closer look at the actual charging hardware box itself, a nice clean edge on this side. We've got some uh, vents at the top uh, there as well. Apologies as I walk around here, the light will catch the lens. So this is the opposite side here. Um, so we've got nice ventilation here and I can hear those fans running nicely. Uh, it's actually sucking air in there and you'll notice there's a paper filter in there. So that's a great idea. That paper filter is going to stop all the bugs and dirt and rubbish going into the electronics, um, which hopefully make these a bit more reliable. Now we've got a video coming in the next few weeks on charger reliability. Uh, it has been a big hot potato in Australia lately. Um, there's been lots of problems with chargers being out of action over the summer Christmas holidays. Um, so just little things like that can make a big difference. There's some hinges there, so the technicians could obviously um, unlock that there and they open the door. It's a full length door, which is great, so it means great access for the, the technicians. And this is the front of the charger, so this is the part of the charger that actually faces outside the uh, shopping centre. So again, that branding really helps you find it. I love the, uh, the Kempower positive um, branding banner there. Now we'll see if we can get some of the stats of the charger there for you. I'll put these up on the screen. Now, as I mentioned, this is the first time I've seen this charger. So I'll do a little bit more research about it and I'll put some stats up on the screen for you guys to have a look at. But overall, I'm really, really happy to see these in Australia because these are one of Europe's most reliable chargers. Um, so this is what we need in Australia. We need to build out our charge networks a lot more and we need to see reliability increase. Whoa, it's getting very hot and I'm starting to sweat. So I'm in the shade here. So to show you guys some stats, so the car now is up to 65.8% uh, state of charge and we're getting 41.7 kilowatt hours and that's 96 amps at 433 volts. So I'll just show you my little app there. Can you guys see that? Okay, so you'll see the uh, state of charge there and the kilowatts that are coming out of the charger and the amperage. Now, as we mentioned, this is a 50 kilowatt charger and people often say, why aren't I getting a full 50 kilowatts? Well, that depends on lots of different things and we've done multiple other videos and talked about that. So we'll include a link at the above for that. Um, but in general, you always have some losses. Also depends on the state of charge of the battery. So the higher the state of charge, so i.e. the more full the battery is, the slower the charge to protect the battery. Um, so as it fills up, it slows down. And also the temperature of the battery, the charger and the ambient air temperature. And the other thing that can affect it is the electricity supply network. So maybe there's not enough uh, current. And we are sort of first thing in the morning, so this would be one of the um, peaks, the electricity peaks for the day. So everyone would be waking up, putting on their electric kettles, cooking their pancakes and bacon and eggs. Um, so potentially that's impacting it a little bit. Um, but all in all, this charger has had a good rating for the first couple of days it's been open, uh, providing close to that 50 kilowatts charge. So one thing I usually like to do when we are testing or doing any charging is zap the temperature of a few things with our little thermometer. So we'll have a look at that today. Um, we are in direct sun in a few spots, but it is only early in the morning. Um, but look, feeling these cables and stuff, nothing is very hot. So 
Let's do a quick check of the charger plug down in the car. So we'll zap that. Okay, we'll just make sure the little man's got it in the right spot. So we'll face it towards the actual plug where it goes into the vehicle, hit the bit trigger. Okay, as you can see there, we've, oh, hopefully you can see. We've got about 33.9, which is, that's not hot at all. Um, so we'll come up here to the charger cable where it comes directly out of the charger and we'll zap that and we'll see what that is. And look, that one's 36.3. So this charger is definitely not getting hot in any way. Um, again, we're only putting in 35 kilowatts now, so it's not uh, heavy current, but it's good to see there's, there's actually no heat at all. We'll go up to our little LED indicators there. So as you can see, we're starting to come up to the top and we're at 77%. This pretty much goes for any EV. Once the charge or the state of charge of the battery gets up to about 80%, um, you generally want to unplug because as we mentioned before, the charge rate will really slow down and it's not valuable or it's not the best use of time to sit around to try and get that last little 20%. It often takes you the same amount of time to charge the last 20% that it took to get from like 10% to 80%. And the other thing is um, you could have a bank of people waiting to charge. So um, unless you really need to go above 80, when you're at a DC rapid charger, hit that 80%, unplug and be on your merry way. And that uh, looks after the battery of your car and it's also the best use of your time. But we'll hang around for a, another couple of minutes and uh, get the car up to 80%. Um, but really, really happy to see these Kempower chargers here in Brisbane, Queensland and also coming to Australia. Um, by the way, they've just won a contract uh, to install their chargers across the newly announced South Australian Electric Vehicle Highway and also Western Australia Electric Vehicle Highway. Um, now, the only other charger that I know that's operational in Australia is down in Tasmania. Now, there might be a couple more, but that's the only one. So they're just getting a foothold in, and from a user's perspective, I think these are great chargers. Time will tell on reliability here in Australia, but they're certainly proven in Europe in extremely cold weather and also uh, some of the uh, warmer weather countries. Um, so... Congratulations, Kempower. Great to see you guys in Australia. Look forward to seeing many more of your chargers. And it'll give our local homegrown guys, Tritium, who the head office is in um, my state or my city here in Brisbane. So it'll give them a little bit of competition and hopefully they'll improve their game a little bit. Thanks very much for watching. Don't forget to leave some comments in the comment section. I love reading those. And also check out the links in the show notes section. I've put some links into some of the companies we've talked about today. And if you haven't, please click that subscribe button. As we mentioned, that really helps the channel. And also give this video the thumbs up. And of course, again, a big hats off to our financial supporters. If you're able, please flick us a couple of dollars. You can do that via a YouTube super thanks, via a PayPal donation, joining our pay Patreon family, or also a YouTube membership. So every little bit helps and it all goes towards creating more content for you guys. Until the next video, stay safe, look after your family and friends, and we'll talk soon. Cheers. Did you wave? <laughs> you could have waved.